sneaky good game alert. 0-3 at 3-0? and Come on, man. Yeah, I think we got it. When Jerry Bell brings his Springfield Blue Devils into Sylvania to take on Coach Steve Hardy's undefeated Southview Cougars. And as further justification, I'm going to dip into the Marvel multiverse and have a little bit of logic from Loki. You see, somewhere, long story short, everything and anything has happened every time and any time. And what that means to me is somewhere, the Springfield Blue Devils have played the Cougars' non-conference schedule. And they're 3-0 also. Would they have outscored their opponent 182 to 14? I don't know about that, but this is a much closer game than paper tells us. Keys to this game. Both teams possess offensive firepower with focal point running backs, big time receivers, and talented, confident quarterbacks. Southview runs its offense through running back Isaac Sexton a leader who challenges defense with a slashing running style and big play receiving skills. And Springfield's offense? Did you see Kalen Miller's performance last week against Clay? 202 yards, 18 carries, two touchdowns rushing, and two more pass receiving. By the way, he lost over 130 more rushing yards on penalties that have to get cleaned up. Southview has to work to contain and gang tackle this guy. He is quick, elusive, and balanced. Southview's gone back to the future with its two quarterback play runner system, a throwback to some of the Cougars iconic state championship seasons. Avery, Offenberg, and Will Mazies are operating the offense beautifully. The ability to discuss each play with the quarterback is unique, instilling a confidence and rhythm that works. They haven't needed it yet, but I guarantee you Southview will run the two-minute offense as efficiently as they did back in those glory days. Springfield has had one quarterback, and the emergence of Will Scott this year has made the Blue Devil offense a bright spot for their winless start. Progressing each week, Scott was nothing short of brilliant last week. 19 for 29, 317 yards and three touchdown passes. He's a dangerous run threat as well, and can buy extra time with his legs to throw. So with these offensive similarities, what are the keys to this game? Southview's defense will face its best offense to date, and that means cornerback Elijah Thomas will be the force. His secondary group must take away Springfield's big play potential, along with its red zone passing game. For Southview, I also love Akeel Jones Jr. and linebacker Danny Nussbaum. Tough run stoppers. They're going to have to control the line of scrimmage versus Springfield. Springfield, they got to focus on special teams. Southview has been consistently amazing in creating scores and massive momentum swings throughout their three opening wins. Dangerous returners, Lamb, Sexton, Mike Alexander III will break this game open if there are any cracks in the Blue Devils' punt and kickoff teams. It's going to be a challenge. So, 0-3 versus 3-0. The key cliche here for all football coaches, we know what it is. It's 0-0. Zero and zero. Going to be on both those chalkboards or dry erase boards as we start this football game. It is the second season. It is league play. And the challenge of Sylvania Southview to stay 3-0, the challenge of the Springfield Blue Devils to get off that winless mark is going to bring good quality football like we expect in the NLL. Good luck to both teams. Stay healthy.